Nikki Hayes, I am the National Ambassador for Cycling Against Suicide. Will cycling highlight suicide? Will it solve the issue? I have to say that working in North Belfast, there's hardly a week goes past that we are not affected. But this event was not planned by a senior leadership team. It was planned by a group of young people, a group of our year 12, along with a very inspirational member of staff. Uh, we have a crisis service, so it doesn't matter what the issue is, if you're struggling emotionally with anything, you can give Lighthouse a ring and you will be seen within two days. And it's one of the only schools that I know that puts well-being of young people first. Um, and that's a lot to do with Suzanne and the team that she has up there in the Princess Trust. I don't know what I'm saying. I don't know what I'm thinking anymore. And we run free counselling and complimentary therapies. And we also have a one-to-one -one, um, 8 to 12 week intensive program based in the community for anyone at risk of self-harm or suicide. A very proud past pupil of Hazelwood. Um, I definitely didn't think that in 16 years time I would be dancing across the um, assembly floor like a mad woman. Um, and as I was learning more about youth work, it's all about encouraging young people to reach their full potential. But in doing that, you have to work on yourself as well. Thank you all for saving me from the route I didn't want to go down. Thank you to my brothers, my teachers, my friends, my family. I thank you all. Thank you for all the work and all the effort you've put in. Thank you. and it is about people who you know but you can come out the other end because it is okay not to be okay and it's absolutely okay to ask for help. Everyone was happy and I'm just like why can I not feel happy? It is Christmas day and I cannot feel this like I couldn't feel anything. I just felt numb. I'm still in my bottle and every day is a different bottle but I just try and keep my head above the water and I'm not, I'm not too bad.
Lurgan, I suppose, like any other town in Ireland, has its fair share of suicide. So well done to everyone involved and all the best in your forward journey. So thank you. I play in professional sport, uh, played for Manchester United, um, and also working at Flatic. My, my brother took his own life, um, it was eight months at the United at the time, had to come back home. The, the, the good thing about all the mental health organisations and also you know, events like this with Cycling Against Suicide, the whole idea is that people are doing something really positive out of a negative situation and they've shown you know there's so much courage about there. And it's wonderful for our lads to, to be associated with such a, a massive event uh, uh, as the Cycling and Suicide uh, and we're very proud to be involved with that. When I joined West Ham I played about three or four months and I got an injury and I had to go and get an operation on my back. I've been off the alcohol for seven years but the drink really took over. <laughs> Everyone in here are heroes to me because what you use are doing is unbelievable and well done. Thank you. Or the way I thought about it was the wrong way because all I wanted to do was finish where I was. And this is no reflection on Katrina or on the kids or on my friends or on my community. And I'd sit at the kitchen table. I'd get up and make myself a cup of tea. I go to the bathroom and I sit at the kitchen table and all that went through my head was how and when he had taken his own life. He didn't, couldn't, or whatever, reach out. And that's a moment that we can never turn back. Okay, we'll get help. That's all she said to me. I was expecting more, that's all I got. Okay, we'll get help. Those few words are still probably the strongest words you can say to anyone. Good stuff. But this good man said earlier on, if you just reach out, you'll find that you will find a friend and you will find a hand that will help you, help to pull you forward. You're like five stars. And I understand the torment that can be in the mind. But I want to let you know that you can take back control of your mind. The mission was something beyond my own pain. The mission was to raise funds for the Laura McGuire Foundation to help children with critical and terminal illnesses. And every time that my head would drop and I'd wonder what I was doing, I would pick my head back up again. And I'd focus on the goal and focus on the dream. You see, life is here for us right now. And life wants us to grow and it wants us to give and it wants us to do more and it wants us to be more and it wants us to have more. So I'm here today to say to you is, don't stop dreaming. Star, look how you shine so bright. Oh me, oh my. Come on. Oh me, oh my. Yes. You shine so bright. You shine so bright tonight. so far apart but all I have to do is look up to the stars and see those five stars shooting across the sky we're like five stars look how you shine so bright oh my my Thank you. One, ten, super year! Keep fucking shining, guys.